What's up guys? I got a whole load of that thermochromic pigment from various sites and different colours and stuff like that. And uh, this video is just going to be a little go through of kind of all the different colours and strengths and kind of um, effects that I kind of got from it and the problems I had as well. So I'm just going to do kind of a brief roundup. So the first one we've got is phase and in my opinion this is the best one and it's the most reactive as in it goes from purple to pink the quickest as in there isn't much of a gradient between them so as soon as you apply heat you start to see per pink from the purple as opposed to a gradual process of lighter purples before it hits pink if you know what I mean and you get a good amount in there I mean got a nice good load of powder that you can mix in there but um, yeah this is what this one looks like it goes from purple to pink here's a lighter version of it and that's that one Alright, I've tried to squeeze all these in. These are all off a website called um, Cena. I thought it was Gina, but it's Cena and it's Cena by Simona. You'll, you'll see the logo when you go to eBay and kind of have a look around at thermochromic resins. This is my favourite. It's kind of like bubblegum purple to blue. I got this like purple to blue one. <laughs> It's very difficult to see the change unless you're actually looking. I mean, it is quite cool because it's very vivid. I, again, I, again, um, what was it? I put in like two grams in here because you've got to be careful when you order from that kind of whatever Sienna website. You don't get a lot of pigment at all. In fact, you get one gram per sachet, and it's kind of really awkward to get out. If I'm honest with you, so um, I'd put in more white in this just to make the colours lighter, just to see, but. Again, that's the kind of, you've got to watch out when you're getting these um, pigments that the colours are dramatic as you want because they always look more impressive on paper or kind of on a t-shirt or something than kind of vivid resin. So that's that one. This is her red and yellow one, in case you're wondering what that looks like. So that's that one. The red goes to yellow. Now here is a kind of weird red to green. Now just to put the other one next to it, just so you can see they are different, um, that's what those ones look like. And here is the blue one, so kind of all side by side. So there you have this lot here, so these are the ones I kind of uh, got from that website. Red to yellow, purple to blue, and red to kind of putrid green, and this weird kind of blue to purple. That, these are all of that Cena website and sorry and the, and the black to white one as you can see that one's already fading. Now this is um, some generic kind of white red to white pigment. It's, um, it's like all the packets written in Chinese so I can't really translate it but you do get a good amount as, as you can see here it's um, 10, 10 something so I'm assuming that's going to be 10 grams. And uh, yeah, that's quite a good amount in there. I did put a hell of a lot in there and to be honest with you, it doesn't change that quickly either or that well. It still stays this kind of pinky colour but anyway, that's that one. And finally I've got these, uh, hold on, <clears throat> SFXC ones. And uh, yeah, they, they basically go from a dark shade to a lighter shade and they are quite reactive in your hand. So um, these, these, these are quite fun. These do work. Maybe I'll do the Incredible Hulk or something like that. Something, something relevant in green. But apart from that, you know, the, it's not as a weird to change as the other one. I prefer the ones that go from like a blue to a green or, or I don't know, a different color basically. But going from dark to light. These are the probably more reactive ones. Um, five grams here, as you can see. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, but again, still a good amount. Now for the curious, I use this as my mixing jar and I would just pour the entire contents of that into the tray. This is 70 milliliters in here and I'd put in maybe two grams worth of that um, pigment and top the rest up with white. So I'd put in 70 milliliters of white and then two grams of pigment and um, for me perhaps that wasn't quite enough I'd probably now go for maybe three or four possibly so four grams per every 70 milliliters that's that's a rough estimate don't take my word for it experiment for yourself by all means so this one I put in two grams and 70 milliliters of uh, white resin and this one I put in one gram and this one does not react as quickly as that one. So uh, 
there may be a link to uh, the amount of powder and how quickly they react as well but again it could vary with different powders I still found that phase does react very quickly anyway but um, because these have much more of a gradient they don't change as fast I do find that more pigment is better so uh, this one is kind of yellowy white and this one is more of a white I guess due to being diluted I'll just show you now hold on I'll heat them up okay so there you go you can probably see in the light there the kind of yellowy yellowish color and then that's the more whitish color so they are the same pigment but obviously the amounts of pigment have changed the outcome of the color change so uh yeah you've got to look out for things weird things like that as well so uh, yeah so it's not as straightforward as like you'll get that color if you mix it in that pigment or whatever so um bear that in mind all right and here i've got an example of like mixed resin so um this just kind of shows that they you can mix them in the tank as well but i'll show you how i do that in the next video stay tuned if you like this video please like and subscribe and uh yeah catch you later peace